The spirit of wisdom will take you into areas of wealth that you never experienced before. You should always prophesy to seeds that you have sown in the past. You should always be in a prophesying flow and never let your seed be forgotten. You say, well, probably it can never be forgotten. Saints, the Bible said, pick me in remembrance. When, when you decree and you praise God over things, you're reminding him of your fruits. And saints, God wants to keep on thinking about your honor. He wants to keep on thinking about your honor. But, but see, and this is so amazing to me. God will let his mind drift from your honor just so that you could have something to pit him in remembrance of. Saints, what you think goes on, a lot of times God act like he forget what he promised you just to see how much you're going to go in sowing for it, praising for it, sanctifying yourself for it, and receiving it while you're verbally praying. You got to talk yourself in the direction of wealth. Talk yourself in the direction of prosperity. Talk yourself in the direction of overflow. Now, the prophetic anointing will even let you know when somewhere that you're abiding is too small for you. That means that you're outgrowing where you're at. Your current level can be outgrown. I want to show you something. Let's go here. Sometimes your, your current level could be outgrown. Let's go here. I want to take you to this text here. The sons of the prophet, and I, they started saying that the place that they was was too small. And saints, they understood prophetically that God was enlarging their territory. Sometimes you got to realize that the Holy Spirit not going to let you stay where you are forever. And so your, your dreaming mentally start changing. Now, saints, always remember when God is having you dream about the future. He never lets you dream and get anxious. How do you know that you're dreaming from God because he couples the dreaming with um, submission? He couples the dreaming with right attitudes. You don't get angry. You don't get frustrated. You don't get um, combative. Um, you don't get um, jealous of nobody. You don't get covetous. You don't start comparing your life. Now, saints, always remember this. Covetousness is different than God showing you what belongs to you. Because covetousness is a spirit is like is rooted in jealousy. So covetousness will have you looking and saying, hey, that belongs to me. But see, the thing about it, look at the one with the five talents. He worked his way up into the another five. And so he didn't spend his time saying somebody else got five talents. I should have had that. He just worked his way up. That's the powerful thing about the kingdom is that you can work your way up to the next place. You never stuck. It don't matter what things look like. You can actually go how far you want to go. Saints, understand that it doesn't matter what takes place. You could actually be promoted to however high you want to go. Nothing is stopping you. Saints, when I realized that, ain't nobody could stop me. I, ne I, I keep on telling you, but every time I was sowing to that lady, I was sowing, I was sowing, not to the lady, but I had to go to a post office where this lady, she would see me sowing seed. And I had got to a crazy floor of sowing. So she used to ask me, you sowing again? I said, this is a gym, so I'm sowing right here. Take it, just take it right here, just take it. Take it. And so so she got to she got to a stage where she was high minded and she started thinking that she could tell me stuff. She said, Oh, you 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 just gonna keep on coming in here sewing again, huh? 
I said, listen, man, listen, 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 she bear. Let me listen, listen, Monique, Stanley over V. What? Listen, let me tell you something. 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 Oh. I don't want to be looking at no mule breath while I'm sewing either. You, man, you get that retarded boy in the back that look like Steve Urkel, brother. Get him to work at the desk. You go to the back. I should have brought you some Al toys. That's what I should have brought you. I should have brought you some Al toys. I said, Al toys would have been better for you. That's I should I should have took half of this seed, brought you some Al toys. That's what I should have brought you. I'm gonna sit right there. Looking like you got chicken pox. Looking like you got a hundred and one Dalmatians on your face. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Hundred and one Dalmatians. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Let me say something. Shop, 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 shop. Shop, shop, shop. <laughs> Second Kings six one. Zendaya was playing with her dolls. I saw her over there one time. One time Zendaya was playing with little toy, and she told the doll, "Shop." I said, "What is this? What is this? This is the what is this? Is this is what?" I said, Zendaya, what you saying? I'm saying, don't, 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 don't try to tell the dog nothing. <laughs> Since I know Zendaya my spirit because she says stuff that I think in my head. And then Saints, when I'll be talking to Zendaya, then Zendaya won't tell me to tell something. Okay, daddy. Okay, daddy. Saying she's still going strong. After I delivered her, she went strong. Saying she ain't had no, she ain't had no relapse or none of that. Saying she be sleeping and saying now, now she don't got no, no, she don't got her, her, her old, old connection with her. Now she up there when she goes to sleep. She... One day, the other day, I'm about to throw a great. Lob a grape. Lob some gummy bears. <laughs> but all I did was set Zendaya mind free. I showed her what she could do mentally. Man, I look good in this camera, man. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm getting younger, man. <laughs> shop, shop, shop. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> shop, 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 shop. <laughs> and, and saints, all I did was just show Zendaya her wealthy place in her mind. How she got the abundance of strength. You understand? Saints, your wealthy place is constantly going to the next level, to the next level through knowledge. The more knowledge you have, the more wealth you access. So saints, that's why God teach you before he unlocked the treasure box to you. Now the father got a treasure box right now. <laughs> the father got a treasure box. Father got a treasure box. <laughs> the father got a treasure box. I remember when I, when I was sewing... I was sewing in my car. I remember one time I came into a vision and God showed me the angel of promise. And then he showed me a treasure box and in the treasure box, it had all type of stuff in there. And see, the treasure box is God. He, he, he got all type of things that you desire. In the treasure box, it has everything that you that you're supposed to be enjoying on earth. In the treasure box. Father, I receive your treasure box being opened unto me. Father, I receive your treasure box being opened unto me. Father, I receive that divine treasure box. The heavenly treasure box. I want to show you something in the text here. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's go here. Deuteronomy chapter 28. 
Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Let's go to verse 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. His dig of the treasure box right there that I was talking to you about. Every soul must got a revelation of your own treasure box. You got a treasure box that's that's tailor made for you. Cause guess what? Let me tell you something, girl, man, boy, whatever you is. <laughs> Nowadays people be both. So, so, oh no, no, uh uh, uh uh. My name is Mister Sarah. That's why I am, I'm Mister Sarah. Done turn into Mrs. Sarah or, or Mrs. David. Mrs. Barack. <laughs> okay, let me leave it alone. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. The heaven to give you rain unto your land in his season. And to bless all the work of your hand. And you shall lend unto many nations and you shall not borrow. Saints, do you understand that this is, this is, this is the flow and the river that the sower unlocks? You got a personal treasure box that got goodness that God want to give to you. And everybody got a different goodness because everybody got a different desire. Now, saints, I can't stress this, but I got to be honest about this. When you get to a degree in sowing, God start taking you out of rules. You step into a place called righteousness. Where the father give you a raw anointing, but it is specified because of the level that you have died to yourself to honor him. Saints, you ever see me talk a certain way and act a certain way? That's all divine righteousness. You think I was talking like that when I was I was picking up my cross and I was crucified with Christ? Do you think I was talking like that? No. The seed is the wine that you give to God to drink. And when you sow and seed, God get intoxicated. Ha, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Saints, the seed makes God heart merry. When I say merry, I'm talking about joyful. The seed makes God rejoice in his soul. Sowing unlocks the rejoicing of God. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So since when God gets drunk, he want to give you your petition. That's the secret. That's, that's really the secret. If you get the father drunk with your decisions, if you get him drunk in love with your honor, when he drunk, he start releasing to you what you want. That's how it go. What happened with Herod? He was at that banquet they give him something good. He feeling good. He feeling merry. Then he said, what do you want? They said, we want John the Baptist's head. Remember, he didn't even. Remember, he didn't even want to take off the man's head. Remember, he was scared to take off John the Baptist's head. But he had made a covenant that since you brought me pleasure, I'm going to give it to you. Because you made me feel great, I'm going to cause you. To have a petition answered that I really didn't want to give you. Since what was they going to do with John the Baptist? They got the man forehead. The man hair. All oh, that man. What they was going to do with him? Huh? But see, even Herod gave them the petition because of how they made Herod feel. Saints, the truth of the matter is, wealth is just God responding to how you made him feel with the seed. Wealth is God responding 
to how you made him feel with your servanthood. Wealth is God responding to how you made him feel with your praise, with your learning. Because saints, the more you learn, the more authorization you have to carry the money bags of King Jesus. The more you learn, the more you leave the system of the Antichrist. Sowers will not be affected by the system of the Antichrist. The Spirit of God told me that earlier today. Sowers will escape the mark of the beast system. Sowers will not be affected when, when currency start changing, all that different type of stuff. Why? Because your currency is already underneath the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost is going to protect you in the times of famine. In the times of danger, in the times of wickedness, it won't even touch you. You're just going to get richer and richer. Wealth that's stored up to you will come it to you even in wicked times. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. Prophecy is just going to be fulfilled every time the world gets worse in evil people. Ain't nothing going to touch you. Ain't nothing going to stop you. Why? Because this system is sure. And that's what God been trying to do. Get people back on his system because you don't know that Satan is a Judas. Satan will betray you after you give your soul to him and you live for the world and you're walking the ways of the world. The world will betray you because Satan is a Judas and he's a thief. Everything Satan got. Guess what? He stole it. So, so somebody with stolen goods don't really got the authority to protect you because they try to be protected too by stealing from you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. Why the Lord open unto you his good treasure? Because you have given him the opportunity to do so. Do you know how to open up the doors for God to multiply you? See, saints, God got doors in his spirit realm to open up for you, but you got doors in your spirit that you got to open up for God. You ever thought about that? You think about God opening up a door for you, but you got to open up doors for the Lord. The Lord said in Revelation, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Saints, do you understand what that means, man? That means that you actually got to open a door for King Jesus. The door of your heart. The door of your soul. The door of your decisions. The door of your money. The door of your company. Your relationships. The door of your thought life. The door of your emotions. Peacefulness is a divine emotion of the promised land. Joy is a divine emotion of victory. Rejoicing is a divine reaction to harvest is already being released to you. The hundredfold lifestyle looks for a code of conduct. There's a certain way you got to act for God to react. And there's a certain way that you got to react for God to keep on acting. The acts of God kept coming to Moses because he knew how to react when God acted. And he knew how to act to every reaction that God was having. Let me slow it down for some of y'all that got all timers. Let me slow it down. <laughs> got about two people on here say, let me, I, I saw two people in the spirit say, let me, let me type that down. Let me type what he just said. And then they said, oh, she, I can't even do that. Let me just, let me just listen, baby. Let me just listen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What he said, he said, this, this was, he said, Wu-Tang Klang ain't nothing to mess with. That's what, and about two people did that just like this. Let me type what he said down. He said, he said, he said, God had to react just to react. Oh, nigga, this is nigga, this is nigga. This, this, this. Saints, you ever talk to a smoker, you can't even finish your sentence. They talk, so hold on, hold on. Nigga, get back here. Get back here. I ain't finished talking to you. I said I want almonds on mine. You ain't in fit. I said, get back here. <laughs> Since you got to be careful who you send on missions for you because some people won't come back. 
Say, it's, 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 ain't that something? Sometimes people owe you money and you be like, nah, nah, it's all good. But in the back of your mind, you're like, nah, nigga, pay me when you get paid now. Not because I told you that it's all good. It's not really all that good. I want my money back when you come back. <laughs> you, you know, when somebody comes to you and says, man, I'm going to pay you back when I can. You be like, nah, it's all right. But in the back of your mind, you're like, man, you better pay me back when you get it. You get that income tax, you better come through. Come through, OG. What you going to do for me, OG? What you going to do for me, OG? You got some new Louis Vuittons. What you going to do for me, though? Since you can't trust black people. You can't trust no daggone body, but you can't trust black people because they be plotting against you. And they, they be like, yeah, girl, I see you. Come here, man. Do you know she owe me money? Man, she owe me money, man. I done, I done bought her. She asked me for a thong last Sunday. I bought her a thong. <laughs> she asked me for two thong sandals. I bought about two thong sandals last Sunday. She bought about two more thong sandals on Monday. I bought about two more thong sandals. <laughs> and she got the nurse to sit up there. Yeah, girl. Two of them thong sandals. You didn't see the thong sandals on her? Look at her toes. That's why her toes, they starting to scringe up. They starting to look like them monks that wear them orange dress that's always dirty. They don't believe in the washing dryer. <laughs> The monks don't believe in the wash and dry. I don't think no monk ever got married because ain't nobody ever washed their clothes and then none of it. The monk always, his, his orange dress always dirty. <laughs> Let me keep on going. Let me leave the monks alone because the monks, the monks is short for monkey. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 12. Now, saints, the Bible said that you shall lend unto many nations. Now, saints, nations is dealing with people. Remember, the Bible calls you a holy nation. So it's talking about you being a lender and thou shalt not be a borrower. Saints, do you know that the Father never created you to borrow from a bank? The bank ain't carrying your miracles and loans ain't carrying your miracles either. Now, saints, the Lord will use those type of things here. He'll, he'll use them. But truth be told, I let me, t let me just say this. Most times you got to get a loan because you're doing something prematurely. When God wants you to do something, the finances be there. He'll lead you to the finances, the provision for the vision. And yeah, the God can work through the loans, but that's not what he, what, what, what he anointing you to be. He anointed you to be a lender and not a borrower. Saints, like I don't take out no loans. I've had banks get mad at me because they say, why you won't take out no loans from us? Because guess what? Uh, 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 you want me to call Barney to find out why I won't take out no loans from you? You want me to call Baby Bop Bop, Teletubbies, huh? Tinky Winky and Yaya? I'm not trying to take out no loan because a loan just means that I'm going to have to pay back this same money. Why would I take out something that I'm going to have to pay back when I don't even want to pay you now? <laughs> I don't want to be revisited with this five years where I'm trying to get my groove on. I don't want you to pop back up talking about I owe you. My Bible say owe no man nothing but to love him. And saints, that's how the devil get over on, 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 on even the children of God. When you, when you like lack knowledge, he'll try to get you to get all these loans. And then when God trying to get you straight, now you're trying to pay off all these loans. You're not anointed for loans. You're anointed to be a loner. You got loaning power in you. You wasn't created to receive loans. You was created to give loans. You are a blessing factory for God to show forth his provisional abilities. You are a blessing factory of the father to demonstrate the spirit and the power in wealth. Saints, see, saints the demonstration of the spirit and power is not just for um, healing sick bodies. The demonstration of the spirit and power is also for provision. It's for wealth. It's for abundance. It's for more than enough. Some brothers wear a turtleneck, boy. It'd be a ring all around their neck, boy. 
You gotta be careful. You like who burnt? Who burnt the tip of this shirt, man? The shirt just burnt, boy. It'd be a ring all around that neck, boy. Be a ring all around that neck, boy. You be up there looking for for which one? What shirt is yours? You like the white one's mine's right there? Or, or is this one yours too? No, nah, that's not mine's because it got a ring around. That's 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 my D one That's his that's his turtleneck. That brother got a turtleneck. That brother, that brother got a turtleneck. Turtleneck. That brother, that brother, that brother got a turtleneck. <laughs> I was watching this show, right? The show that the, um, the woman was mad because the dad wanted to get the child circumcised. She got mad because the daddy wanted to get the son circumcised. Now, for some of y'all that don't understand this and some of y'all wrong, your child ain't got no circumcision. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm not, I, never mind. I'm not even going to tell you nothing. Let me keep on going on. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Get your son circumcision. Get the circumcision done. You know why? Because, ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't get the circumcision done, you're going to make him look bad. That's all I'm going to say about that. Get the circumcision done. I got a third on that. Deuteronomy 28, verse 12. Now, let's go to verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Saints, do you know why the Bible said that God will make you the head? Because, saints, that's the direction where the anointing flows, the head. He anoints your head with oil. So God said, I'm going to pitch you where the anointing is flowing so that your life could be easy. I'm a pit of anointing to flow on you so that your life could have results. So you could have harvests. So that you could, you could experience what it means to be a rule over much. And then why it says that he'll make you the head and not the tail. Why? Because the tail represent the dragon. Dragons got tails. And, and the dragon is what Satan... Satan, see saints, before Adam fell, Satan fell. So saints, all Adam did was just continue what Satan did. Satan fell from the system of the garden of God. Oh my gosh. So saints, the sweat of the brow, who do you think it started for? It started for Satan and the demons. Saints, Satan and his demons were the ones that first tapped out of God's system and created hardship for themselves, made themselves vagabonds, made themselves criminals and fugitives. Just like, you know, when Cain, when God told him, you shall be a fugitive, a criminal, uh, a vagabond rather. That's the same thing Satan did. Satan got kicked out of the system. But saints, what you, what you think that Lucifer was doing? Lucifer was a sower. The one third of the angels were sowers. That's why they hate the idea of you sowing. Because they know what it unlocks. That it unlocks gardens and paradises in heaven on earth. That's why, that's why they are so afraid for you to get connected to a prophet or apostle. Because they know the future that you unlock. Now saints, a harvest is God becoming your servant. A harvest is God becoming your servant. When God gives you a harvest, he's making it his prerogative to now become a servant to you. A harvest is God submitting himself to you. Sowing is where you submit yourself to God. Harvest is where God submits himself to you. You delight yourself in the Lord, he give you the desires of your heart. The giving of your desires of your heart is God submitting to you. So saints, a lot of times people are looking for the Lord to do something. And, and, and if you want to get the Lord in submission, you get him in submission through the seed. 
Because when, when the Lord see that there's a woman or a man on earth that want to take care of him, he fascinated by you. Oh, Jesus. And, 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 and six, let me just tell you this. Once the Lord get fascinated with you, there's nothing that he would do, wouldn't do in a day to stop the day just so that you could have what you desire. When the Lord is fascinated with you, he will go miles and miles to create your smiles. Let me tell you something. The harvest realm of God is so shocking that God will ask you what you want. And your religious mind will tell you, no, God won't give that to me. And God say, listen, then I ask your big head self what you want. Huh? I ask your big head self what you want, right? That's what they, 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 I ask you big head self what you want. The harvest realm of God is so powerful that the Holy Spirit would actually deliver unto you things that go against tradition. Satan never wanted a man or a woman to enter into the harvest realm. Because the harvest realm mean that God start bending rules to make you rejoice. I want to also talk to you about how sowing creates sanctification and delivers you from ties with people. The more you honor God, the more God starts severing who is demonic in your life. The more you start sowing seed, the more God create a disinterest in you for who are messengers of Satan in your life. The father exposes the corruption and the deceitfulness of people's heart the more that you use your heart to honor him from a pure place. And guess what? You'll start seeing the demons in people. I want to say this. Sowing activates the discerning of spirits. I got to say it just like that. My God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sowing activates the discerning of spirits. You're going to start knowing people's spirit without them even saying a word because you're going to see right through them. When you sow a seed, God start x-raying people around you. Your prophetic anointing get high when you sow into your prophet. Your prophet is a seer. The seer's anointing is connected to the seed. Every time you sow seed, the seer's anointing is rising up in you. The seer's anointing to see people. Nobody can hide in your presence when you're sowing into God. Joshua was a sower, so God revealed to him Akon. Joshua was a sower, so God revealed to him Akon. That's what happened. Joshua was like, why am I losing this battle? God said, Akon, you got corruption in your camp. When you a seed sower, God starts showing you what's stopping the harvest of your victory. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes your victory is connected to uh, a, your, your acorn need to be set on fire. <sighs> Sowing releases exposing power upon who is combating your hundredfold lifestyle. When you're honoring God, the Father shines the light on what needs to be abolished and what needs to be polished, what needs to be preserved, and what needs to be annihilated. He lets you, he lets you see it. He lets you see it. He lets you see it. Now, saints, let me go here. Genesis chapter 8. I'm going to be on here for five more minutes. Genesis chapter 8. Five more minutes and I'm off. Genesis chapter 8 verse 20. It says, And Noah building an altar unto the Lord. And he took of every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Saints, that was in verse 20. And in verse 21, the Lord responded. 
Why? Because the seed is justice, but God's response is judgment. See, since judgment is not a bad thing when you're walking in honor. Since that's why I always say, I want God to judge me. I want God to judge me because guess what? When God judges you, he takes your life into a place where you're qualified for what you're supposed to be possessing. The more you get judged by God when you're righteous, guess what happened? The richer you become. I remember one time somebody said, uh, you see you God judging you. I said, you're damn going right because I got more money than I ever had in my life. Thank you. Thank you. You right God judging me. I want him to judge me some more. I pray for God to judge me. Some of y'all never prayed like that before. I pray for God to judge me all the time. I say, Father, come on, let's judge me. Judge me, come on. Come on, let's, let's, let's get it. Let's get it, man. <laughs> come on. It's God to God talk. Saints, you think I done, I, I done fought with the Lord before? But I don't fight with the Lord like you fight with the Lord. I fight with the Father because we fight for who going to love each other better. The fight that I have with the father is, is I'm, I'm going to see if I can top you. You honor me, but let me see if I can honor you more, Lord. You love me, but I'm going to see if I can love you more. Huh? You, you spend time with me, but I'm going to see if I spend time with you more. You thank me, but I want to thank you more. You trust me, but I trust you more. The only fight we have is divine fights. Wrestling with God in love. Love it. Love. Love wrestling. There are about two people on here say, I would love some wrestling, right? <laughs> about two people. Money! Come it to me now! Get the religious demons mad. Get those religious demons mad. Get those religious demons mad. Two people on here said, I want some wrestling. I want some wrestling. Let's go to Genesis chapter 8, verse 20. And Noah built an altar and took of every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar. Now, says, look at this here. The Bible said, that Noah, he builds this altar, and when he builds the altar, he starts sowing on it. And saints, look what happens. His seed is not just a religious practice. His seed is what God wanted all along. Look what happened in verse 21. The Bible said, and the Lord smelled his seed. Oh, Jesus. Saints, look what it said. And the Lord smelled a sweet savor. Look at this here. Look at this here. It says the Lord smelled a sweet savor. And look what it said. And the Lord said in his heart, your sowing make the Lord start talking to himself. <laughs> That's how much the seed make God crazy. Oh, Jesus. Ha, 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Glory to God. Glory to God. Look look what the Bible say. That's what your word say. The Bible said that the Lord smelled his seed and said in his heart. That means that God wasn't talking to nobody. God, God, mind started talking to itself. Saints, imagine the Lord created a system that every time you use this system, you affect God's heart for good. Saints, that's the crazy thing. I, I've heard people all my life talking about, oh, I just love the Lord with all my heart. Oh, I just love God. I just love God. And then you, you ask them, you know about sowing? Oh, no, no, no. God don't need those stuff. He don't need that. He don't need that. He's God. He don't need all that stuff. He don't need that.
You mean to tell me that you love him so much, but you leaving him deprived of what touches him? Says you can't tell me now. Look at this suit, man. Look at this suit, man. This suit is all harvest. This is all harvest. Look at this suit, man. This three-piece suit. You're not going to find this in America. I promise you. <laughs> this is... This is the, 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 the three piece suit, the three piece, the three piece. I'm telling you that right now. Man, don't, 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 let me tell you something. 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 My haircut, my haircut right there. You see this haircut? It's not a barber in the world, man. It's not a barber in the world. You, tell, you understand what I'm saying? Huh? You hear me knocking? Huh? Huh? You hear me knocking? Huh? The coupe too fast. Then what did I miss? Nah, I ain't miss nothing. I ain't miss nothing. I didn't miss nothing. Let's go to Genesis chapter 8. Look at verse 21. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Say, the only thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start. Never mind. Say, I, I, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. When the blessing is on you, God will affect your facial features. He'll affect your body. He'll affect your energy. He'll affect your mind. He'll affect everything. Everything will be affected. Because remember, you represent him. Saints, when, when, the, when, the, when the drug boy pull up in his, his vehicle, my vehicle bigger than his and better than his. When the rapper pull up, the rapper ain't got nothing on what I got. The rapper want to be where I'm at. Because I ain't got to smoke no weed. I ain't got to drink. I ain't got to look over the back of my head because I wish somebody would. <laughs> I ain't worried about none of that. Now, Saints, I'm going to tell you like this. I ain't stupid, though. <laughs> I'm not stupid, though. And Saints, I'm going to tell you this right now. I believe in carrying guns and I believe in, I believe in knowing how to shoot them. If somebody pulled up on me, just know I ain't praying for him. <laughs> I'm not going to pray. I'm not going to fast. I'm not going to call John 3.16. I'm not going to be calling the blood either. It's going to be some blood, but I ain't calling it. I'm not stupid. You keep at least three hammers. You keep two hammers. Then, uh, uh, not, not tell them when you have them, but you, at least three. Depending on your, your level. Saints, you see me be moving with my security guard? All my security guard are, are sharpshooters. All my security guards are sharpshooters. And Saints, I got one security guard, I call him Biggie Smalls. That's a big old boy, but he faster than you understand. And Saints, them, 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 uh, one, one time I, I, I had a situation because one of the security had got high. <laughs> and he was hiding from me. And, and since then, he's been hiding from me. He don't want to see me no more because after, after he saw the services and stuff, he's been nervous. See, some, sometimes them boys, when they, they, when they see you start doing stuff, they say, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not coming back there. <laughs> So, so he he don't want to see me on there none of that. He he be running from me. Now, but see, I had came up to him. I knew he was high, I, but ain't nobody had told me now. I, I told him. I said, I said, man, come on, man. <laughs> I said, I said, I know what's up, man. You got the loud on you, man. You got the loud on you. He said, no, nah, Reverend, no, nah, Reverend. I just my nerves, my nerves. I said, no, nah, you got the nerves to get some. And since the only thing was, my only discrepancy was, let me tell you something, something pop off, you better not, the bullet better not fly back here. <laughs> Make sure you know where you at with yours. Since I remember one time I had a conference, there was a guy, there was a guy towards the end of the conference. Now, since I had walked past the guy and everything, the guy ain't bust no move or nothing. I was right there in the man row, all that stuff. So at the end of the conference, he called himself, he called himself coming up to the 
to the altar right there. And and the big old Biggie Smalls, man, he ran with Usain Bolt speed. <laughs> and and, and say, he picked the man up and boomed him up in the air just like that there. And since they carried that man up in the air like the Matrix. And since he had a cane. He had a cane and the cane went go fly up in the air. I said, the man could have got healed. Now, why you want to do that? Now you got two broke legs, man. He could... Brother, you could have got healed, man. You, you were standing right in front of a healer. <laughs> now, both of your foots. Now, let's go here. Genesis chapter 8, verse 20. And it says, he offered burnt offerings on the altar. Now, saints, I want you to understand that there is an altar that demons have against every woman and every man, no matter who you are. And the matter of fact, the reason why your life God has to break a lot of things off of you because that altar is operating before you surrender all. And even when you surrender all, that altar still will fight against you until you utterly destroy it. Saints, how do you destroy the altar? You got to learn how to sow. Saints, look what the first thing he does when he comes out of the ark. He goes and builds an altar because that's what the people of God People was doing, they was robbing God. That's why they were so wicked. That's why they was killing each other and so violent. So he set the flood and washed them all away. So the first thing Noah does when he comes out of the ark is he builds an altar and does what they refuse to do. Which is so into the Lord. Now saints, remember what the Bible said that the Lord was so grieved. And repented that he made man because the thoughts of their heart was evil continually. So it was their heart that got God so disgusted. So why is God's heart experiencing pleasure now from a seed? Which shows you that their heart could have turned around how God felt about them. And they could have stopped those evil imaginations if they desired to sow into God. That's why when you want to sow into the Lord, that's why you become a different woman. That's why when you want to sow into the Lord, that's why you become a king as a man. Because sowing, it does something to the heart that makes the heart despise grieving God. The seed is heart surgery. And the father gets out of you things that are rooted in wickedness. That's why when you sow and seed, God won't let you be like religious people. He won't let you follow the religious people. Alexia, I, I don't have many people sing for me. Guess what? I don't have many people sing for me. Do you know the only person that ever was sowing into me when they sung? The only person that would even think about or even go to that level, Alexia was the only one. You see Alexia on the line, right? Now, if Alexia, if she fall to the devil, I'm a slapper. If Alexia go to hell, I'm a, I'm a slapper, I'm a slapper, I'm going to get some Louis Vuitton Prince Hills and I'm a slapper. Because guess what? It was the seed that keeps her. People can't be kept. Even, even if the devil after them, they, they, they got to fall to the devil because they ain't even got no altar. Saints, I, I, I'm giving you a shocking revelation here. Your altar will fight for you even when the devil think he got you. Your altar will rise up and say, no, because the seed is on the altar. People don't be having no seed on the altar. So when the devil come fight them, they got to be taken out and they can't recover. Because they ain't got no seed on the altar. The altars of Satan are either going to defeat you or you're going to defeat the altars of Satan. How are you going to defeat the altars of Satan if you didn't build an altar yourself? 
Noah built the altar because he knew that it was the sons of God operating through that generation that was sowing seed into the woman to have all these wicked children on the earth. So guess what he does? He uses the seed principle to sow into God. And the same way that the sons of God were entering into woman to have them with seed, to have them with demonic children, the same way now God is having this man break all of that wrong seed sowing and use it for an altar towards God. What's happening here? Noah is refusing to take on the demise, the demonic path, the eternal hell that they chose. But look how he does it. He breaks it through the seed. Says, why you think that God created the seed principle? It's more than you just becoming wealthy and rich. You got to break the altar of Satan. You're looking at a person that did it. This prophet here has broken the altar of Satan. Satan ain't got no power. I, I rule the devil. <laughs> I rule that nigga. Huh? Ain't no demon, ain't no demon. Let's go to Genesis. Genesis chapter 8. Saints, the Lord smelled a sweet savor. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. Saints, look where he said, I will not. The seed that Noah sowed from his soul was sucking God's soul, taking God's soul, delivering God's soul. Affecting God's soul. Touching God's soul. Look. He sowed a seed from his soul. And got God's soul. To submit itself. Wow. Saints. Guess what? Your soul is where all your desires are. So guess what? If, if, if you could get God's soul to submit to your soul. That's why he give you the desires of your heart. Saints. Solomon had a soul full of desires, but he souls out of his soul and give God his desire. And God tells Solomon, what shall I give you? Because God is taking the soul that Solomon has offered up to him with the seed and saying, now my soul is here to serve you. Let me talk to you for one minute about the thousand dollar seed. The thousand dollar seed delivers you from the curses that was generational. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you like this. Thousand dollar seeds destroy generational curses. Thousand dollar seed breaks the spirit of witchcraft that has been following your ancestors according to the natural. The thousand dollar seed removes the principality that has been governing your prosperity. The thousand dollar seed destroys every single yoke that has been trying to combat your wealth manifesting. It's the thousand dollar seed that makes God take the place of being a waiter in your life. The thousand dollar seed made God petition you. About how he could answer your problems. Your desires. The thousand dollar seed creates a conversation with you and the father. That was. Not allowed by you to enter. Because this level of provision and pleasure and prosperity, it needs to be activated. It's like the thousand dollar seed is a hit seed. It's a code. It's a password into supernatural lifestyle with the father. It's the thousand dollar seed. 
I remember when I told the Lord to help me sow a thousand dollar seed. I remember when I was a teenager. I said, I said, just give me a thousand so I can sow it. I said, Lord, I don't want to do nothing but sow this thousand. And since the Lord gave me a thousand dollar seed, and guess what happened? When I got that thousand dollar seed, it was actually more than a thousand. I got seven thousand. And when I got that seven thousand, boy, I felt good. Boy, I was dancing. I was shouting. <sighs> Boy, you start dancing like a white man. Shoot. And that President Trump anointing you do. The President Trump anointing. Shoot. People tell you that money don't make you feel good. People, do. hallelujah, hallelujah. It's just two dollars. I just was playing with you. I'm not going to tip you big. I just gave you two dollars. That was a fake check. I just, you thought with two thousand, that's just two dollars. I just was playing with you. Trick or treat, smell my feet. That's what you get. That's just two dollars on you. That's just two dollars. Money make you feel good. God created money to create stimulation inside of you. Money actually, it, 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 it has motivating power. God created money for motivating power. Saints, I want, I want to talk this in a sense. Why do you think that Satan created um, a path of being a stripper or like a path of you being a prostitute? You go, well, you know, all this stuff. Well, why do you think that? Because saints, guess what? Or being a, a drug dealer because pleasure unlocks money. It's a law in the spirit. If, I, if you learn how to pleasure the Lord, you unlock the money anointing of the Lord. It's just, it, it, that's how it is. That's how it is. Pleasure unlocks money. The more you pleasure God, the more money he gives you. It's just simple as that. It says, what happens when God wants to give you money? He uses men to give into your bosom. He gonna use people down here on earth and place them underneath that anointing to bless you. It shall be given is a realm that the sower enters into. And the sower must not become weary so that they can enter that realm of it shall be given unto you. And saints, I remember when I was sowing and I finally got to that realm of it shall be given. Oh, and it feels good, boy, when you enter into that realm. Because saints, I remember working for bosses and my boss would say, I want to buy your lunch for you today. I didn't ask them to buy my lunch. I remember telling my, I remember my boss coming to me and said, I like you. I want you to come work on Saturday. Can you come work on Sunday? Guess what? I'm supposed to be making probably about 50 more dollars. The boss gave me over $400. I'm thinking that the stuff been done wrong. The boss said, no, get it. this yours. Meanwhile, all of that, because I'm sewing. I remember I had a job. I'm supposed to be making 400 a month. I was making 800 a week. <laughs> All the time. There's nowhere that I didn't go with favor, didn't keep on multiplying because I knew how to work the seed. I knew how to pleasure the Father in heaven. My Father is pleasured, He creates my pleasures. It's just easy like that. And since once you realize how much the Lord loves you and how much He got you, you'll trust Him with sowing. You won't be afraid because you know that He got your best interest in mind. And since you'll get God into a bind, you can, you can arrest God with your seed. What he going to do? Because his reputation on the line. I pit the Lord in situations where he had to answer me. Because I sowed seed and then God God made, he made a covenant. I got to show up. Uh, I was supposed to be making 400 a month at a job. I started making $800 a week. And the boss was favoring me. The boss was favoring me. And saints, you know when the co-workers used to go talk about the boss and talk about, oh, you know, the boss, da, da, da. And they asked me, what you think about him? I kept my mouth shut. 
And I ain't say nothing to them. And since I remember every time they get paid, Tom, so I'm going to go play the lottery tickets. What you going to do with your money? I'm going over to the bingo, man. I'm about to go. I'm about to shoot some cards, man. I'm about to go to the casino. And all of them was doing this stuff. And all of them was broke. I had so much money, boy. And guess what? That wasn't the only avenue that God was sending me money. God was having men given to my bosom from every different direction. And I, you become a magnet. You start magnetizing financial favor with all different people because you're honoring God. Saints, the seed is like you paying God, but really God just taking that seed to give you a payment that lasts forever. When you sow, it looks like you're paying God, but actually God want to release lifetime of blessings on you. The Lord won't give you lifetime blessings. He want to give you lifetime increase. He want to take you to a degree that you've never been before. Saints, and guess what? Most times, your parents never been there. They never been there. They never know what it means to go there. And guess what? The Spirit wants you to break the, the, the yoke. Break the headlines. The Holy Spirit love when you trust him with your life so that you, he can break the headlines. He want to break the headlines. The headlines where, where Satan saying everybody in this bloodline, I know how to keep them at bay. I know how to keep them at the base level. I know how to get them to a certain level and stop them. I know how to keep them underneath that, 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 that curse. No, 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 no. You break that curse. And guess what? Look what it said right here. He built that altar. That altar was challenging the altars of Satan. You notice how did Elijah tear down the altars of the prophets of Baal? He teared it down firstly through the seed. Because he said, let's see if my God will answer, your God will answer. But he used the seed principle. Because saints, you tear down satanic altars when you're sowing into your God. Say it's the powerful thing in the mystery of money is that money is a weapon of worship that stops all satanic authority in your life. The secret to money is that if you use money for the Holy Ghost sake, the Holy Ghost power will break you out of all darkness and all demonic curses and spells and witchcraft that try to work against your provision. And saints, when you are sower, you got to let yourself go all the way in because people going to persecute you. People going to fight you. People going to say stuff to you. You better not break that sowing, that wealth, grace that has come on you by letting them affect you. You got to be bold. The righteous eye is bold as a lion. And guess what? Whenever God has that hundredfold anointing flowing on you, you cannot be afraid of people talking bad against you. You can't be afraid of warfare and conflict because even when it comes your way, the devil will come at you in one way, but will flee from you in several ways. That's the blessing. Deuteronomy 28. The devil will come at you. The enemy will come at you in one way. Have to flee from you in several ways. When you operate in this blessing, the blessing protects. The blessing promotes. The, the blessing provides. I said the blessing protects. The blessing promotes. The blessing provides. Ha! And nothing can stop you. Nothing. 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 You got a protector. You got a promoter. You got a provider. Why you think Abram went up to go sacrifice his only son and then there was a ram in the bush? Why? Because the blessing protects and the blessing promotes and the blessing provides. Oh, yes, 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 yes. There's nothing that the Holy Ghost won't make happen for the sower. He did it for me. He going to do it for you. Ah, I'm your apostle. I'm your prophet. He did it for me. He going to do it for you. S some of y'all, he already doing it for you. You watching me right now, he already doing it for you. The minister of finance is moving. Prosperity angels moving. Money coming for angels moving. Financial angels moving. Wealth angels moving. Fire of God moving. Glory of God moving. Cherubims moving. It's the Holy Ghost. The power of God is at work.
Ho, 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 ho. Credit scores got to bow to Jesus. Huh? Houses got to bow to Jesus. Huh? Cars got to bow to Jesus. Promotions got to bow to Jesus. Wealth got to bow to Jesus. Riches got to bow to Jesus. The blessing bows to Jesus. Investors bow to Jesus. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, 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 yeah. Money! Comment to me now. Ho, rabba, zarabba. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, come on, let's say it one more time before we get up here. Ah, ah, come on, come on, come on. The Spirit want to show you another realm. The Spirit want to show you another degree. It's time for you to come out. It's time. This is your season to unlock the mystery of your finances. The seed is the tongues of money. When you sow in seeds, you operate it in a financial prayer language. When you sow in seeds, you're operating in a financial tongue. And, and God starts showing you the mysteries of money cometh. The mysteries of money angels. The mystery of the angel of abundant provision. The angel of abundant provision. The angel of abundant provision. I loose the angel of abundant provision in your life. Blessing angels move. Prosperity angels move. Minister of finances move in Jesus' name. See, you got to understand, minister, minister and spirits, their whole job is to cater to you anyway. Their whole job is to get your inheritance into your bosom. I feel the anointing going through me right now. I feel the anointing going through me right now. The whole job of the ministering spirits is to help you inherit your wealth, your riches, your health, your prosperity. Oh, Rabba, Zorebeze, Randevo Zaraba, Rata Paro Vozaraba, Rezevo Rabba Zorebeke, Reze Rebe Zoraba Rabba, Rabba Zorebe, Randevo Zaraba. Ah, lebo raba zaraba, revo zaraba kara, rete pepe, robo zande revosia. Run, listen. Ministering spirits, they have longed for someone to believe in the power of Jesus' name. Believe in the power of the Holy Ghost, because those aspects of your life. Nothing shall be impossible for you financially. And see, the Lord been wanting to demonstrate the spirit and power. To show you what it means. To unlock the mantles of abundant life. The abundant life have anointings, it have angels, it have decrees in it. And saints, abundant life. It is carrying all type of wisdom and knowledge that you will learn so that you could increase in abundant life. You can manifest abundant life. And guess what? That Abrahamic prophetic anointing is to transfer abundant life. Oh, Jesus. That's that blessing of Abraham as well coupled in there because you become a transferring system for, for the abundant life to flow. Saints, let me tell you, let me prophesy this over you. You shall see the glory of God and the gold of God manifest for you now in Jesus name. Let, let me speak this over you. You shall see the wealth power of the Holy Spirit moving intensely in your life in Jesus name. Let me speak this over you right now. In the name of Jesus, I loose all money in the four corners of the earth. 
I loose all finances in the four corners of the earth. I loose every provision, every prosperity, every promise, every anointing that will bring you into abundance, into plenty, into more than enough. Shovos, shevos, shovos, shevos, shevos sanaba, rezon sule veshula. Wherever the money that belongs to you on earth, I lose it. What I love about the Lord is that the Lord has already saturated this earth with all type of events that's carrying your riches. When you start listening to the spirit with your money, you get out that place of nervousness and scheming and trying to make something happen and you just walk in the spirit. The spirit will lead you to your hidden riches. The spirit already know how he wants to provide you with the best. God ain't going to give you nothing less than the, bless, than the best. Money cometh is God unfolding another lifestyle to you. Money cometh is an apostolic move of the spirit. For governmental benefits to sit at your feet. Money cometh is a wind from the Holy Ghost. Blowing against all satanic winds and atmospheres. Money cometh is an anointing that God releases to change your condition. Money cometh comes with angels. Money cometh angels come to minister. All events and all doors and all, all levels of money to you in the current season you in. Money cometh is greater than your work. It's greater than what you get paid monthly. It's greater than what you get paid every two weeks. It's greater than what you have seen on earth. Money cometh is where God pours out his heavenly economy on your earthly economy. Money cometh is where God pours out his heavenly economy on your earthly economy. And guess what? Money cometh came from the belly of King Jesus and it is on the earth operating because the Lord wants you to experience all of his promises for laying down your life and choosing to walk in his spirit and his presence. Saints, the presence of God with a C is spelled with a C. The presence, his presence unlocks his presence. His gifts and wealth is a gift of God. Riches is the will of God in Christ Jesus. The Lord wants you to be rich. You don't got to pray for riches. You don't got to beg for riches. You don't got to hope that God will, will give you riches. Riches come alongside of you sowing and it comes alongside of you reaping. And saints, let me just tell you something. King Jesus, he loved placing a reaping anointing on your life. Because saints, a lot of times you do stuff and you might forget that you did it. And God, when he got that reaping anointing on you, he'll do spontaneous acts of favor towards you and say, I remember this. And then there's another aspect where you're prophesying to seeds that you have sown. And God loves that as well. Start praising God over what you have sown and never forget your sowing. The best you know how, write down your seeds. Write down your seeds. And says, when you're in prayer, say, Father, I thank you for harvests on this seed. I thank you for manifesting your glory and your power on this seed. I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to sow. Saints, God looking for people that love sowing into him, that you never get grievous about the seed. The seed stays your excitement. The seed stays energetic in your soul. The seed stays the apple of your eye. You love sowing into God. You love pleasure in his heart. You love making him smile. You love bringing him relief. The seed is like tying all to God's pain. The seed is like God, like God taking time off for his pain. God was in pain in Noah's day and Noah discerned it and Noah built the altar and started sowing. And God said in his heart, I won't curse the ground no more. Why did he curse the ground? Because he was hurt. Wow, 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 wow. 
Wow. God cursed that ground because he was, he was, his heart was bleeding. And, and, and Noah took the seed and became a surgeon and started mending God's broken heart and said, Lord, I want to show you how much I love you. Oh, Jesus. I want to show you how much I care about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that this whole world forgot who is God, but I haven't forgot you, Lord. I want to show you how much I want to pleasure you. The seed sower is in a romantic relationship with King Jesus. Saints, when you sow a seed, don't be shocked when you got romantic thoughts. Because you romancing your Savior. Let me tell you something. The woman at Zarephath, when she started sowing into Elijah, she had a special love for Elijah. She wasn't looking at him as if, just as if, okay, okay, he, 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 he a mighty man. So she started looking at him like, hey, I, 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 I need to protect him. I, 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 I bet if he needed another meal uh, of those pancakes, <laughs> I bet she would have said, hey, you can, you can have, you can have how much? What, you want some grits? Huh? You like syrup? Huh? You, 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 you good? Huh? Huh? Like Jerusalem Dennis. Huh? Jerusalem Aha. Now look at this here. <laughs> look at this here. She had a special love for Elijah now. Because the seed makes you romantically in love with your prophetic voice. The seed makes you a protector. The seed makes you a pleasure creator. The seed makes you joyful so that your man of God could get the best out of you. Because if your mind messed up, you can't serve. If your mind messed up, you can't protect. And if your mind messed up, you can't help. And saints, what happens? Perfect love casts out fear. The seed is also a weapon that engrafts you into perfect love. So you stop fearing about people. You start fearing about tradition. You start, fe you start fearing about all the religiosity. And you just let the spirit of God flow through you to be a blessing. Saints, the Shunammite woman, she had a man, right? Huh? But Elisha became a man. <laughs> Elisha became a man. She said, she said, I, I, I got to feed him. She switched. She got in the mindset, Elisha, 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 Elisha. But guess what happened? Elisha came to bless them. Because remember, the man was duxing, but then no baby was coming forth. <laughs> the man was duxing his wife, but the Shunammite woman wasn't getting no child. And Elisha, <laughs> Elisha put her anointing on the duxing. Huh? Huh? So, guess what? If she didn't yield to the romantic love she had towards Elisha, they would have hindered themselves from what the father wanted to release. And guess what? Guess who released that? Elisha. See, when you saw it into your prophet, your prophet got power to release things to you that's going to bring you pleasure. Your prophet is carrying power to release everything into your atmosphere. Every harvest. Every promise, everything that will grow you into the next level of excellence, luxury, and blessing. The prophet's reward is the prophet blessing you. The prophet can speak a word right into your life and everything start changing for you. All the prophet got to do is just, just, just become an answer to your prayer. And all the time. All the time. 
all the time. That Shunammite woman, she unlocked all of that just through sowing. She said, I want to be a problem solver in Elisha's life. She didn't come and try to call him a no false prophet. She didn't come and try to tell him, oh, I need a sign that you're really from God. All that different times. She didn't do none of that. Guess all she did was, all she did was love on Elisha. And Elisha was able to love back on her and release her into a life of pleasure. And release her into a life of heaven on earth. Release her into a life of her own paradise. Oh, Rava Zorrevekeze, Revekeze. Randeve Zorravazara. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what the Holy Spirit will do for you. Are you ready? Don't be troubled and don't be dismayed. Because God going to do it for you. No matter who you are. I bless you. Don't lose these things that I taught you on here. Don't lose these things that I taught you on here. Operate in that loosened authority. And command fire on that demon holding your money. Mother! Yeah. This is a deep message. Prophet Joshua Holmes. This is the message.